making bread is, but she knows what making dough is. And you're not old. <laughs> oh, perfect. My first step is done. So, I was responsible. I went to the store. I got ingredients for my bread, and I looked up a recipe online. We are going to be following <coughs> butter with a side of bread recipe called Easy Homemade Bread Recipe, which is perfect for me because I only want the easy recipes. <laughs> so, and that's the only ones I can do. So, we're gonna try this out and see if it fails. I'm hoping it does it. So, first off, as you guys saw, I microwave my water and I have to dissolve my sugar into the water. So, sugar. Yes, please. Guys, I have never made homemade bread in my whole life, and I think it is past due for this life. Ew. I just got something nasty in this, and that was disgusting. Whoever goes in the sugar next, they wear it. <laughs> okay, I think it's past due that I learned how to make bread, because it's a life skill everyone should know for the zombie apocalypse that is bound to happen one day. Because once the zombie apocalypse happens, everyone's gonna be going to the store to get their bread, and you're gonna be left with no bread. So you have to know how to make your bread. So here we go. First step, follow along with me. You're gonna need to, if you want to survive. Grab your two cups of hot water, your half cup of sugar, and we're gonna pour it in. Guys, this is probably the best part of the whole bread process, I'm telling you right now, because this is what the sugar is, and this is what you're going to be tasting, and it's going to be delicious. Even Logan wants to make bread. <laughs> so Logan's going to be helping me today. We're going to put him on the counter. Just kidding. You probably did not wash your hands, did you? Yeah, he did not wash his hands. Okay, maybe you can have a little taste test after. I don't know if this bread recipe is safe for dogs. I hope it is. And we're going to have to let this dissolve. Oh, it is spilling. I'm already making a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, how long does this take to dissolve? <laughs> how long does sugar... Hey Siri! How long does sugar take to dissolve in water? Okay, I found this on the web for how long does sugar take to dissolve in water. Ooh. Check it out. Thanks. Hmm. Um, they did not even give me an answer, so thanks a lot. It's working! It's stirring. I never thought I would be happier to see sugar dissolve in water. Isn't that what hummingbirds drink? And butterflies? Sugar water? Maybe I should just do that instead of make bread. Should I do that instead? <laughs> Loki want to? But everyone is counting on me to provide for the family with their bread. Okay, I am the breadwinner of the family. Even though I am sick, I'm probably gonna affect them all with my sickness. Okay, this looks pretty, pretty stirred in, right? I mean, I can see some granules, but like, ain't nobody got time for that. What's up next on my list? What's up? <sighs> Close out of the app. Okay, stir in the yeast. So we need one and a half tablespoons of active dry yeast. You do not want the unactive yeast. You want yeast that is, yeast that is fit for it, okay? So, tablespoons. Where is it, tablespoon? And now we need um, my yeast. I, brought, I bought a packet of yeast. Yeast! 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 Okay, I'm just gonna pour it in. I think I'm supposed to, one and a half tablespoons. Okay, here we go, I'm ready. I am a ready lady, here we go. 
pouring in the yeast. Ooh, this is gonna use my whole packet. Are you joking? I need two packets for my yeast? I only need one and a half. <gasps> Whoa, the yeast spilled. Okay, well, we're just gonna plop that in there. I'm already making a mess! Need a half a tisp, or half a tibs. Uh, no, Logan, don't eat the yeast. Okay. Yeast, 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 yeast. And then we're supposed to stir it in until it's allowed to proof until yeast resembles a creamy foam. About five minutes. A creamy foam for the yeast? That sounds really gross. I'm gonna come back in five minutes when this is supposed to have a foamy layer on top. Delicious. The yeast overgrew and it is falling apart. Okay, what do I do next with my yeast? Okay, um, now I'm supposed to mix salt and oil. So I think I'm gonna pour it into this bowl now since I think it outgrew this one. I poured it in here, I don't know if I was supposed to, but I think I was. Next up, I need to add in four cup of vegetable oil. All right, let's see, and one of my mini cups, this one. Oh. Okay, we have to be careful with the vegetable oil because I have had many incidents with this thing because when Jordan likes to cook with me, she likes to spill the oil all over me and it stained my shirt. So, not happy memories with this little thing. Okay, careful, careful. My hands are shaking. Okay, why do I feel drippy? Is that the yeast? <laughs> okay, we're gonna pour it into the nasty pond water bowl. Here we go. Now, I need my salt. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Which one of these? Which one of these? Found it, don't worry. And I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna open this up. Oh, okay, one and a half tisps. Ooh, I'm like breathing in the salty air. I really like salt. Like a lot more than sugar, so like, this could be salty bread. Here I go, mixing the salt and the yeast. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, ew. It's like a weird color. Okay, I don't know how long I'm supposed to have mixy mixy, but now I have to add in slowly one cup of flour at a time to this, and then that's where the bread starts to happen. Okay, now I'm mixing in the flour. Oh, <coughs> that just flew in the air. Here we go. This is exciting. It's like an experiment to me, kind of, because since I've never made it before, like I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I hope it turns out good. Um, but like, I've never, and like all bread recipes are different. No bread recipe is the same. And so I think I picked, I hope I picked the right recipe for today. <laughs> so far it looks pretty good to me, so. My favorite bread, thanks for asking. Where'd it go? There's my bread. My favorite bread is the ranch bread. So I don't know how you make this. Maybe we have to add some ranch into our recipe. Um, but this bread is really great because it's soft. So I hope my bread is soft and warm and ranchy. Okay, I mixed in my cups of flour. This is what it looks like. And now we are going to knead the bread. So we gotta stick it in here somehow. I don't think I did that right, but I got it on, so. That's all that matters. Okay, <laughs> never used this before. I think we did it, right? Yes! Oh, and then you're supposed to latch it. Okay. Now we're gonna turn on the machine. That's gonna make it easier for me so I don't have to use my muscles. So, I think it's right here. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I'm seeing. And 
It's just mixing around like a tornado. Okay, my dough is done, and now I'm going to oil the bowl. So I'm just spraying some pan. Wait, is it spraying? Oh, it's spraying. Oil the bowl. Now I'm gonna transfer the stuff in. I don't, can't see if the pan is working. I think it is. Oh. I think it's Wait. well. Did it oil? No, you just sprayed on the fumes. Are you kidding? It's easier if you go like that and then you get some out. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Good thing mom's here to save the day. Or else the bread would not come out of the bowl. <laughs> okay. The longer I've learned from mom, the longer that you let the bread knead, the better and fluffier the bread will be. Uh, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? That's what you said. It's not coming out. All right, so now I just have to like mixy in the bowl because I want to like coat, right? Don't do that. I need to respray with Pam, right? What do I do? <laughs> you know? All you have to do is go like this. It's now <laughs> coated. Oh. Now just leave it alone. Don't touch it, okay? Gosh. I'm gonna ruin it. We need, no, we need a damp cloth. This is better. We are strained from the recipe. If this fails, it's because of your method and not mine. This is not a damp cloth. This is Pam on a little tiny tin foil. No, it's on clean wrap. Clean wrap. Voila, you have to wait an hour for it to rise, right? Yeah. You're supposed to wait an hour and it will rise to twice its size. Ooh. All right guys, it has officially been an hour and a little bit of minutes. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the dough has risen. Oh my gosh, this looks like a donut hole. Wait, look. There's a little hole right here, it's a donut hole. Okay, that doesn't even matter. <laughs> It's really greasy. This is the dough and I'm supposed to punch it. So I'm gonna let all my anger out right now. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Yeah! <laughs> that was so soft. All that hard work is literally just going down. That's sad. So now I've got these really fancy blue stained bowls. Bread loaf bowls. And I'm gonna stick the bread in here, and then guess what we have to do? We have to wait for it to rise again. I don't see the point of punching that thing, but okay. You have to divide it into half. What are you doing? I'm dividing it into half. <laughs> okay, <watch> this. <laughs> Mom is leaving the room. Should I toss it like pizza? Pizza, yes. supposed to be an Audra tries and has turned into a mom okay, fixes. You do it, but look, it's like gonna be like so crazy. Why do you have all these like weird seam things? I don't what know. the heck? I've never made bread before. This is not my fault. Oh, oh my recipe. goodness, I feel like we just gotta knead it now at this point. That's what it calls for. It said knead for a minute, so yours has a crack in it too. I'm just saying. <laughs> nice little loaf. A plus presentation. This does have a crack. That's your, that's your problem. You're, should I need this one? Yeah. Okay, so then you stick it in here. I'm gonna put on some more saran wrap and wait for half an hour again. This is a three hour recipe, guys. Not to self in the future. Do not pick a three hour bread recipe to follow. Um, and then we'll be back with the results until I have to bake it again for another 40 minutes. And we're back! It has risen a tiny bit. Well, actually a lot of it. And we didn't really wait a full 30 minutes because, you know, my breads are just early sprouters. They grow faster than everyone else. So, we're gonna pop them into the oven at 350 degrees and then we can wait for another 30 to 40 I rate it a 10 out of 10 looks wise. But guys, guess what we have to do again? We have to wait another 30.
30 minutes because we have to make sure it's all soft. And mom gave me a pro tip is when you take your bread out of the oven, make sure you lay it on its side so it can be soft and fluffy and it doesn't go flat again. Because if you lay it like this, it'll just sink. So you gotta lay it on its side. But if you're cooking banana bread or something sugary, then you can lay it flat. So yeah, that's a little pro tip for you guys if you're baking along with me. Um, but yeah, we're gonna wait another 30 minutes. My bread is done! <laughs> this is what it looks like. It is so white and fluffy and I love it. I'm here with my sister. Jordan! Just turned 33. Oh I was gosh. waiting for that. So, I've <laughs> I, got my I, bread cutter <laughs> and the bread spreader, and we've got jam. Jordan's gonna be my taste tester to see if it's good bread. We've also got spray butter because we're too lazy to get real butter and spread it. <laughs> and I can't believe it's not butter. It's actually not so even what butter. What is it? Nobody knows. <laughs> All right, which one do you want? This one? This one? This one. Whoa. <laughs> okay, don't play with knives. Once again, I am an adult. I was behind the camera and I was just kidding. Audrey's an adult. She's 19. <gasps> wow, this bread is crispy. Cuts really nice. Just so I'm a little nervous because I feel like you may have not washed your hands. Oh, I did, Jordan. <laughs> Look how squishy <laughs> this bread is. We'll do squish test. You <laughs> I did a slime test earlier. Like it's slime. Oh, whoa, hold up. It's actually really good. I was not lying, was okay. it? Alrighty. Okay, you can have this piece of bread. Try a little bit. Guys, if I succeeded in making something, I may not be able to do hair, but you bet your bottom dollar I can make bread. I'm excited to try this. Here's the bread. I cut it a little weird. Let me spray my butt on. Wait, I want to try to test mine, so don't eat yours yet. By the way, this we started this at 6. It is 10 o'clock. So only do this if you have time. This is an all-day thing. This is an all-day event, ladies and gents. Oh, on me. I'm excited. I'm so proud that you were able to make some bread. Ready? We said it at the same time. <laughs> Is there no flavor? Is <laughs> bread going to be flavor? I don't know. Here are my thoughts. Crunchy and crispy on the outside. <laughs> softly on the inside. <laughs> A little bit dumb, but softly. So, I say it's a solid 9.5 out of 10. I say it's a solid 9 out of 10. It's not like the bread that we're used to, but then again, the bread that we're used to is from the stores. Ranch so bread. I should have had the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how that would have turned out, but. Okay, guys, that is it for today's Audrey Tries. Tell me in the comments down below. Would you try my bread? Do you trust me? Let's get this bread! Let's get the bread! Also, remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And you guys know what time it is. Random dancing! Woo!